Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 30th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also, make sure to leave a comment. I'm still doing a giveaway uh, in the comments, but uh, Capricorn, uh, let's see uh, what we have going on for you for this week. And let's keep going. Uh, you show up as yourself here in the first position, uh, which is interesting. Um, showing up as yourself, of course, is very positive. puts you in a position of power and strength. So I do like to see that for you, of course. But let's see what we have going on here. Uh, for your Oracle card, you have the card of Blessed and the card of the Observer here as well. I'm trying to get that to actually focus, but it won't. So uh, I feel... For some of you, I feel like this says that there are blessings coming in for you is actually what I feel. Uh, you even have in your future position, you have the Ace of Pentacles, which definitely could be some blessings or some uh, positive opportunity coming in for you here. I feel like this is saying you are going to have to be observant uh, as well. You have the Fool card coming up in the center here. The Fool, the set, first off, the center card is your most important card in a nine card spread like this. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is is that the fool is about like grabbing onto an opportunity, taking some sort of leap of faith. So I feel like you are going to have to take some sort of leap of faith here with this fool card. Um, so, but uh, it does look very positive. So that's what I'd say here. But I do feel like these two cards are kind of like saying there's some sort of leap that you are going to have to take at this time. So we'll put those there. Uh, in your first position, if you don't know how I do these nine card spreads, I do past, present, and future with the rose. In the past, you have the devil and the queen of wands. This is you showing up here. For some of you, I feel like in love, you could have been dealing with a devil for sure, and or a, like a player type person. You have the Knight of Wands here, the Ten of Swords. This is like some sort of disappointing or extremely difficult breakup that you could have been going through, or some sort of like challenge that you could have gone through in general. For others, I do feel like for Capricorn that there is an element of, like especially in the astrology, you know, the astrology has been very difficult for Capricorn, I feel, uh, especially with a bunch of stuff just in your sign, Saturn and Pluto, mostly. Like, Saturn is like, you know, the taskmaster, learning a bunch of difficult lessons. The coffee's done, Capricorn. Uh, for And also with Pluto there, Pluto is like death, and it's like shedding things away. So I feel like for some of you, you could have experienced a lot of loss in general. It uh, could have been financial loss. You have the Five of Pentacles here. And this, of course, is in the past, which is the good news. So I feel like for a lot of you, there are improvements. And even look at you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Cups. These are very nice cards coming up in your future. So I feel like there are major improvements coming in for you. Uh, but definitely, like, kind of like feeling like the universe is not on your side with these two cards is what's popping into my head. Uh, you know, the Queen of Wands, I don't consider a bad card, but, um, you know, again, I read intuitively. I don't necessarily use the meanings of the cards, and uh, I would say here that I feel like some of you feel like the universe did not have your back. Uh, next, you have the Knight of Wands here in the world. Yeah, you could have been, uh, for some of you in love, it could have been like a player-type person. There could have been an ending to a relationship because of a player-type person with these two cards. Um, for others, I just feel like this is possibly, like, feeling held back. To in getting the things that you desire. Uh, so a lot of you maybe had a lot of goals, dreams, wishes, things that you wanted to accomplish in the past, and it's like maybe things have not been working out as well as you would like. Maybe things have been taking a lot of time, or maybe you just haven't been reaching your goals, maybe you've been struggling, um, especially with this Ten of Swords here in the same row. So I feel like there's just a lot of restriction almost coming off that world card. I do consider the world to be a very, very good card, but it can be a card of like restriction. So in certain ways. Um, but I feel like this is uh, kind of like a birth. I always say the world to me is like a birth. It's like you are going through a portal here, and so you might be going through difficulties, and I always say this to you, Capricorn, that I feel like these difficulties are what's leading to success for you. Uh, next, you have this um, Ten of Swords here, and this Five of Wands. A lot of conflict um, is what I'd say to you. So I feel like you've experienced a lot of conflict. I feel like you've experienced a lot of difficulties with these cards and challenges. That Ten of Swords is like, um, like you know, can represent basically death. This guy is dead, but it's kind of like a card of hitting rock bottom, experiencing extreme difficulties. The Five of Wands, I always say, is a card of conflict. It is a card of competition. But these people on this card, they are learning. They are not... Um, 
you know, they are not necessarily fighting like we consider fighting. So I feel like a lot of you have learned from your difficulties and challenges and all the things that you've been through. Now that we're past that, we can jump into the good stuff here. You have the Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, Five of Pentacles is not a good card, right? But I, I did feel kind of good about it, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I feel like there are improvements here. Six of Pentacles, like slowly working towards improvements, slowly working towards improving the things that you are dealing with in your life. Um, you know, this feels very general to, to me, this reading here, Capricorn. Um, so in a lot of ways, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, I don't really like to focus my readings, which, you know, is probably a bad thing, <laughs> but uh, I just like to let the cards speak, right? And let them say whatever they want to say. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is like saying that there are financial improvements coming in for you and things are getting better. Even with that Five of Pentacles, you know, Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold, I do feel like you could feel left out in the cold. You could feel like things are not perfect yet, but Six of Pentacles, I feel, is like the small steps you are taking uh, to improve your situation. So I do feel like things are improving there for you. Uh, next, you have the Fool card here on the King of Cups. Love it. This is coming up in your center position here. The, the King of Cups, I feel like, is saying kind of like your mind is going to determine how successful you are at this time. The King of Cups does not represent your mind, uh, but it does represent your emotions and kind of like the way that you feel about things. So I feel like if you could keep it more positive or the more positive that you, could, you can keep it with the King of Cups, the better. Um, the Fool is about like taking some sort of leap of faith. I feel like that they're, um, the cards are flying here, Capricorn, but I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, that there's going to be an offer coming in for you in the future. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Even the Three of Wands is something that's going to happen in the future. So I feel like there's an offer coming in for you in the future, but you're gonna have to grab onto it with this Fool card. You're gonna have to take the leap of faith. So I feel like some of you could be doing that. Um, I feel like you're more than prepared. I feel like you are extremely prepared with this card here, so I, I would take the leap. Uh, next, you have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups, love it. Um, for some of you, this could be a third party situation, which came up a lot this week, which is very strange. Um, but this could be, you know, with this bottom row here, you have the uh, Ten of Swords, this Five of Wands, then you have these two threes here, plus this Queen of Cups. You know, this could be like saying that there was an ending because of a third party situation. Even with this Knight of Wands, it's kind of making this diagonal right here. And that Knight of Wands could be like a player. So some of you could have been dealing with a player like Fire Sign in the past. Um, for others, this to me is just a celebration, you being recognized for the work that you do. Three of Pentacles to me is a card of like competence. It's a card of just being good at the work that you do or you know whatever type of work you do. Um, there could be a lot of success for you there. For others, I feel like it could be kind of just having reasons to celebrate. It could be like a job if you want a job. It could be improvements coming in for you, pretty much anything like that. So love it. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the King of Swords, Justice, coming in for you. The King of Swords, to me, is a card of justice. Look at this. You have, In this diagonal right here, you have two kings. Um, I love that. It's like you've gone through these like extreme difficulties and challenges down here. You think like your emotions are turning around. You're getting happier with this King of Cups. The Fool is saying like there is going to be an offer in the future that you're going to have to jump onto. That King of Swords is like feeling a sense of justice. Not really what the King of Swords means, but to me, it is. <laughs> so I feel like for a lot of you, there's like a sense of justice. That sense of, remember what I said over here with this Devil and this Queen of Wands. I felt like maybe some of you feel like the universe has turned its back on you. Or maybe you feel like things have not been fair, which they have not for you, Capricorn. You know, fair, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like this is like feeling a sense of justice, feeling like things are working out. This could be like a very favorable work offer, job offer, business offer, pretty much anything like that. So love it. Uh, next, you have the Three of Wands here in the Sun, the best card in the deck. You are moving towards happiness. Three of Wands is like waiting for your ships to come in, but it is also the card of foresight. I feel like this is saying that you are feeling more optimistic about the future than you ever have in the past. So I feel like there are probably a lot more reasons for you to be happy about the future, or you again, you are just kind of like having more reasons um, on this half right here um, to be happy. So I feel like there's more happiness, more reason to celebrate coming in for you uh, with that those cards. And uh, finally, you have the Queen of Cups here and the Knight of Swords. I do feel like if love is coming in for you, as always, I feel like it could be a surprise. Knight of Swords is like someone charging into your life. Um, even in this row here, like again, you have the Devil with that Queen of Wands. The, the Queen of Wands, to me, is a card of seduction. You know, it can say that like somebody almost tricked you into a relationship. Maybe it was more of a seduction type relationship. And then obviously there's a breakup here. But it's like here you have the Fool with the King of Cups, which could be love, could be a water sign coming in for you. Queen of Cups, again, could be a water sign. Someone very kind, caring, nurturing, intuitive, all those things. I feel like someone's coming charging in for you here, Capricorn, if you're looking for love, basically. I want to see what the next two cards are. Ace of Swords, Judgment, love it. Literally, uh, if you're dealing with something legal, this could be a rebirth for you. 
it could be hope coming in for you as well. These cards don't really represent hope, but again, I do feel like there could be hope or reasons to be happy again. Uh, Ace of Swords, some sort of victory, and that Judgment card is like a rebirth coming in for you, feeling your inner calling. This, yeah, to me, this is like a great deal of clarity right here. Because the Judgment card is your inner calling, but it's like maybe you haven't known what you were supposed to do in work or business or any other area of your life. I feel like there's clarity. Nine of Swords, I feel like this is the thing that's holding you back, so I would let go of your fears here with the Nine of, Nine of Swords. The Page of Swords kind of says, like, you don't need to know all the details. It kind of just says, you will learn as you go. So if any type of opportunity comes up here with this Ace of Pentacles, whether it's job, business, whatever, I feel like you should grab onto it. Yeah, justice, justice, like I said earlier. I, think, I do feel like you have a lot of legal cards here now. There could be justice in a legal matter. Uh, even with that Seven of Cups, the, the Seven of Cups with the Justice card just says, you need to focus on what you want. And then the Justice card is just cause and effect. Justice just says where we put our energy is what we're going to get back. So it just says put your energy into whatever cup you want, whether it's love, money, business, and just focus on it and you'll be successful. Pisces had a very similar message is what I would say to you. Yeah, definitely Justice coming in here. I feel like you've had to make a difficult decision here, but uh, Queen of Swords is like a card of authority, so I feel like you're taking authority over your life. Uh, this looks very good here, Capricorn. I like it. So uh, thank you for watching, Capricorn. Really appreciate it. I will be back at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as always. Uh, so definitely come back. But uh, thank you, and enjoy your week.